Philippines proposed the holding of a defense dialogue in order to further strengthen our cooperation. We also welcome the opportunity to host this year's ASEAN Defense and Security Exhibition on July 16 to 18, 2014. I believe that strengthening defense and security cooperation between the Philippines and Singapore is key to maintaining regional stability. We also discussed the revival of the Philippines-Singapore Action Plan as a mechanism for bilateral discussions between our countries. The Action Plan provides a consolidated framework for strengthening our bilateral cooperation, covering expansive areas including trade and investments, information technology, education, culture, defense, and people-to-people -people exchanges. I look forward to the implementation of initiatives in these areas, knowing that it will have a positive impact on relations between the Philippines and Singapore. Today, the Philippines is indeed reaping gains from our drive for transparency, accountability, and integrity, not only in governance, but also in the private sector to enhance our business climate. Authorities, both here and overseas, have acknowledged our increased competitiveness as an investment destination. This, in turn, has created an ideal environment that is facilitating growing trade between the Philippines and Singapore. We are indeed encouraged by the increasing presence of both Philippine and Singaporean companies in each other's countries, and we believe this bodes well for the future. As such, we also discuss the expansion of cooperation with Singapore in the fields of infrastructure and construction, tourism facilities, information technology, business process management, shipbuilding, logistic services, and agribusiness. We also extended an invitation to Singapore to participate further in the Philippines business sector, specifically to the Philippines-Singapore Business Council. As President, my duties encompass ensuring the welfare of all Filipinos both here and abroad. As such, I wish to thank the Singaporean people and government for the hospitality they have extended to around 180,000 Filipinos in Singapore which is a vital part of the people-to-people -people exchanges that foster greater understanding and strengthen relations between our countries. Indeed, Singapore is a true partner of the Philippines, and we are hopeful that this visit will give our countries more opportunities to deepen our engagement. On this note, may I wish President Tony Tan Kengyam and his delegation a truly fun stay in the Philippines, especially as this is, this is his first state visit to our country. Whether in his further interactions with the Philippine business community or in his visit to Basai, I am sure that the rest of his activities will be meaningful and productive as our discussions today. Your Excellency, your visit today reaffirms the warm and cordial relationship between our two countries. And we look forward to further strengthening our ties and moving forward as strong partners for progress who share the goal of empowering our peoples and propelling our countries in our region to even greater heights. Thank you. President Aquino, President of the Republic of the Philippines, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. My wife, uh, Mary, and I would like to thank President Aquino and the Philippines government for the very generous hospitality extended to us and to the Singapore delegation. This is uh, my first state visit to the Philippines, but not my first time in your beautiful country. And every time I'm here, I'm touched by the warmth of the Philippine people. President Aquino and I just had a good meeting. I congratulate President Aquino on the conclusion of the comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro. This is a momentous accomplishment and is testament to the leadership and efforts of President Aquino and his administration in brokering peace and stability for the Philippines and the region. We also discuss developments in ASEAN. As founding members of ASEAN, Singapore and the Philippines share a common vision of building a strong, united, and stable ASEAN community. And we will continue to work closely to promote the common interests of our region. President Aquino and I agreed that the Philippines-Singapore bilateral ties are extensive and growing from strength to strength. Our bilateral relations are underpinned by strong people-to-people -people ties. Many 
visit, work, and live in Singapore. Singapore has been a home away from home for them, and they are an integral part of our society. There are also many Singaporeans seeking economic opportunities in the Philippines. The Philippines Singapore Business Council, which was launched in 1994, has been meeting regularly and will be meeting again tomorrow. The increase in air services between Singapore and the Philippines under the Air Services Agreement will bring about greater exchanges between our governments, businesses, and peoples. Given our close ties, Singapore also shared your grief when Typhoon Yolanda or Haiyan struck last November. Many Singaporeans raised funds and volunteered in the disaster relief efforts. We are heartened that the spirit and resilience of the Philippine people remain strong in such devastation. We have been working with the Philippine government and stakeholders in the rehabilitation efforts. Tomorrow, I will be handing over Singapore people's contributions to various partners and projects to alleviate the difficult situation caused by the typhoon. Mr. Aquino, Mary and I look forward to a fruitful visit where we will meet all and make new friends and to cement the deep friendship between our two peoples. Thank you. Yan po ang naging mga pahayag ni Yung Aquino at ni Singaporean President Tony Tan Keng Yam na naririto sa ating bansa ngayon para sa isang state visit. Inilahad ng Pangulong Aquino ang naging mahabang ugnayan na ng pagkakaibigan at pagtutulungan ng dalawang bansa. Naging matagumpay daw ang naging dis diskusyon nila ni President Tan sa kung paano papalalakasin ang ugnayang ito. Hindi raw makakalimutan ng ating bansa ang naging pagdamay ng Singapore noong sinilanta tayo ng Bagyong Yolanda noong nakarang taon. At ang patuloy na pagtulong pa ng bansang Singapore sa ating mga kababayang naging biktima ng Yolanda. Sa katunayan sa pagbisita ni President Tan sa Basaysa Marbukas ay magkakalob pa ito ng karagdagang medical supplies para sa ospital doon. Sa larangan ng depensa, inilahad ni Pangulong Aquino na nakatakdang magkaroon ng defense dialogues para mapagtibay ang pagtutulungan sa depensa at intelligence exchange. Bubuhayin Muli ang Philippine-Singapore Action Plan para mapagtibay pa ang pagtutulungan ng dalawang bansa sa larangan ng trade and investment, information technology, culture at people-to-people -people exchange. Kasama rin umanong tinalakay ang pagpapalawak pa ng kooperasyon sa infrastruktura, turismo at sa pagninegosyo. Pinasalamatan din ni Pangulong Aquino ang pamahalaang Singapore sa pagtanggap nito sa may isang daan at walumpong libong mga Pilipino na nag tatrabaho sa kanilang bansa. Samantala sa kanyang banda, si President Tan naman ay nagpasalamat sa Pangulo Aquino at sa ating pamahalaan sa naging mainit na pagtanggap sa kanya dito. Hindi raw ito ang unang pagkakataon na nagpunta siya dito sa ating bansa, bagamat ito ang kauna-unahan niyang state visit. At uh, sabi pa ni President Tan ay uh, tuwing nagpupunta siya dito sa Pilipinas, ay namamangha siya sa kabaitan at mainit na pagtanggap na ipinapakita sa kanya ng mga Pilipino. Pinuri rin ni Tan ang uh, naging paglagda 
pamahalaan at ng uh, MILF sa katatapos lamang na Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro. Anya, ito ay uh, magbibigay daan sa pagkakaroon ng pangmatagalang kapayapaan sa bahagi ng Mindanao. Bagamat marami umanong Pilipino ayon kay President Tan ang nagtatrabaho sa, Pilipi sa Singapore, marami rin namang Singaporean ang namumuhunan at nagnenegosyo dito sa Pilipinas at inaasahan umanong mapapayabong pa ang ugnayang ito sa pagtatapos nga ng kanilang pag-uusap ni Pangulong Aquino. Iginiit ni President Tan ang suporta ng kanyang bansa sa muling pagbangon ng ating mga kababayang biktima ng Bagyong Yolanda. Samantala, bago nagtungo dito sa palasyo ng uh, Malacanang, ang uh, si Singaporean President Tan ay uh, tumungo po siya sa Rizal Park para sa wreath laying ceremonies sa monumento ng ating pambansang bayani Dr. Jose Rizal. Ang wreath laying ceremony ay isinasagawa po ng bisitang leader ng bansa dito sa Pilipinas. At uh, siya po ay uh, sinalubong doon ni uh, Vice Admiral Alano at uh, ni uh, uh, Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada uh, at ni Vice President Jejomar Binay. Yan po ang uh, nakikita nating wreath laying ceremony na naganap po sa Rizal Park kaninang umaga bago nagtungo dito sa Malacanang ang uh, bumibisita nga Pangulo ng Singapore, President Tony Tan. Matapos po ang wreath laying ceremony ay ginawaran ni uh, Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada ng Key to the City ang uh, Pangulo ng Singapore. Nandito po ang uh, Pangulo ng Singapore hanggang uh, bukas Bukas po ay uh, bibisita nga siya sa ospital sa Basay Samar para tingnan ang uh, ginaganap na pag-aayos doon at um, para rin mag uh, ng mga medical supplies. Kahapon po, ganap na alas 5.45 ng uh, hapon lumapag sa Naiya Terminal 1 ang uh, sinasakyang uh, eroplano ng uh, Pangulo ng Singapore. Matapos po ang kanyang pagbisita dito sa Malacanang, mamayang gabi naman ay makikipag-ugnayan si President Tony Tan sa uh, Singaporean community naman dito sa Pilipinas. Gaya nga po ng kanyang nasabi kanina sa kanyang uh, talumpati ay uh, bagamat maraming Pilipino ang nasa Singapore para magtrabaho, marami rin namang Singaporean ang nagtutungo dito sa ating bansa para naman magsagawa ng kanika nilang mga negosyo. At yan nga po ang inaasahan na pupulungin niya mamayang gabi sa isang dinner sa Singaporean Embassy. Samantala nga po, meron po tayong mahigit isang daang libo o isang daan at walumpong libong mga OFW na naninirahan po sa Singapore. At uh, yun nga po ay isa sa mga laking tinututukan ng ating pamahalaan ang welfare po ng ating mga kababayan doon. Pinasalamatan nga po ng Pangulong Aquino sa kanya naging talumpati ang pamahalaan ng Singapore at maging ang mga Singaporean sa kanilang magandang pagtrato at pagtanggap sa ating mga kababayan doon. Inyo pa rin pong napapanood ang special coverage namin. Uh, napapanood po kami sa telebisyon ng Bayan, IBC, at uh, napapakinggan sa radyo ng Bayan. Ito po ang state visit ni uh, Singaporean President Tony Tan dito po sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Katatapos lang po ng uh, courtesy call at maging ng uh, statement ng uh, dalawang leader ng bansa. At uh, batapos po ito, inaasahan po natin yung uh, state luncheon na inihanda po ng uh, Pangulong Aquino para sa bumibisitang leader ng Singapore. Mahigit apat na dekada po ang uh, matibay na ugnayan ng Pilipinas ng bansang Singapore. At inaasahan nga po the, natin that this will be strengthened with the visit of the Singaporean president to our country today. Uh, some topics that have been discussed uh, are uh, 
those of uh, defense and security exchange and uh, maging uh, yung uh, pakikipag-ugnayan po ng Pilipinas at ng Singapore pagdating sa larangan ng trade and investment culture exchange, people-to-people -people exchange, and uh, infrastructure. Ang uh, nakikita po nating video ay ang pagdating ng mga panauhin para po sa state luncheon na inihanda po natin sa presidente ng Singapore na inaasahan nga po nating mananatili sa ating uh, bansa hanggang bukas si uh, His Excellency Do Dr. Tony Tan Keng Yam. Nagdarating na po ang uh, mga uh, opisyal ng ating pamahalaan uh, si nandoon po si uh, Finance Secretary Cesar Purisima uh, DPWA Secretary Helio Singson at ilang pa po nga mga senior government officials para po antabayanan ang pag-uumpisa ng uh, state luncheon na, na mataan din po natin si uh, Cabinet Secretary Jose Rene Almendras at uh, si uh, Secretary Arsenio Balisakan. Gaya po ng aking nabanggit kanina, ang Singapore at uh, bansang uh, Pilipinas po ay uh, ilan sa mga founding members ng Association of Southeast Asian Nations at uh, nabanggit nga po ni President Tan sa kanyang uh, speech kanina na uh, Inaasahan nga po na mapagtitibay pa ang relasyong ito na na-discuss din po nila ang uh, pagpapayabong pa ng uh, relasyon din sa ilang pang mga membre, membrong bansa ng ASEAN. At uh, napanatili po ng Pilipinas at uh, ng Singapore ang matibay na ugnayan sa pamamagitan ng uh, pakikisa sa iba't ibang mga at uh, international fora. Patungkol naman sa bilateral ties, ito po ay napalawak simula ng matawag na economic relationship hanggang sa flourishing arts and cultural scene. At dahil dito nabuo po noong taong 1998 ang Philippines-Singapore Action Plan o PSAP. Ito po ay isang broad-based comprehensive umbrella framework na tumatalakay sa usapin ng trade and investment, information technology, capital market development, education, culture, defense, at people-to-people -people exchanges. Napanatili po ng Singapore ang trade links nito sa Pilipinas kung saan ang ating bansa ay kasalukuyang pang labing dalawa sa pinakamalaking trading partner na Singapore with bilateral trade amounting to 22.3 billion dollars noong taong 2010. Ang Singapore naman po ay pang-apat sa pinakamalaking trading partner ng Pilipinas sa buong mundo matapos ang Japan, China at ang Estados Unidos. Bukod dito, ang Singapore po ang nangunguna sa trading partner ng Pilipinas sa buong ASEAN community. Ito po ang uh, eksena sa loob ng Rizal Hall sa palasyo ng Malacanang. Patuloy pa po ang uh, pagdating ng mga panauhin para sa state luncheon na inihanda po natin kay Singapore President Tony Tan Keng Yam. Imbitado rin po ang uh, mga miyembro ng Diplomatic Corps at uh, matataas na opisyal ng ating pamahalaan. Kanina po namataan din po natin si uh, PCOO Secretary Sani Coloma uh, papasok dyan sa Rizal Hall ng Palasyo ng Malacanang. We are coming to you live From Malacanang, inihahatid po namin ang uh, state visit ng uh, Pangulo ng Singapore. Ito uh, dumating kahapon nga dito sa ating bansa at uh, katatapos lamang ng uh, courtesy call niya kay uh, Pangulong Aquino at inaantabayanan po natin ang um, pagsisimula anumang uh, sandali lamang ng uh, state luncheon in honor of His Excellency President Tan.
Just uh, a few uh, facts about Singapore. Ang executive power ng Singapore po ay nakasalalay sa gabinete ng Singapore na pinangungunahan ng Prime Minister. Ang Pangulo ng Singapore ay inihalal sa pamamagitan ng popular vote at may veto power sa ilang executive decisions gaya ng paggamit ng national reserves at pagtatalaga ng mga judges. Ngunit madalas, na dumadalo sa mga ceremonial posts. Ang ekonomiya ng Singapore ay higit na nakadepende sa kalakalan, lalo na po sa larangan ng manufacturing. Kilala rin ang Singapore sa kanilang na international ranking sa larangan ng edukasyon, healthcare, government transparency at kanilang economic competitiveness. Isa po ang Singapore sa founding members ng Association of Southeast Asian Nations gaya ng aking nabangkit kanina. Bukod dito, ang bansang Singapore ay may parliamentary republic form of government na may Westminster system. Ang Westminster Westminster system ay ang democratic parliamentary system of government na ibinase sa politics ng United Kingdom. Isang katagang galing sa Palace of Westminster ang seat of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Ang uh, legal system po ng Singapore ay uh, nakabase sa English common law ngunit may kaunting kaibahan. Ang kanilang trial by jury ay inabolish noong uh, taong 1970 kaya ang kanilang judicial decision ay nasa mga huwes po. Sa larangan naman ng uh, pagpaparu ang kanilang penalty ay uh, maaring judicial corporal punishment sa paraan ng caning para sa mga offenses gaya ng rape, rioting, vandalism at ilan pang mga immigration offenses. Meron din silang mandatory death penalty para sa salang murder at ilang aggravated drug trafficking and uh, firearms offenses. Bandang uh, alas 11 po kanina, dumating dito sa palasyo ng Malacanang si Singaporean President Tan at uh, sinalubong po siya kanina ni uh, Pangulong Benigno S. Aquino III at ng kanyang kapatid na si uh, Pinky Aquino Abeleda. <clears throat> Sumalubong din po sa kanya si... Uh, Cabinet Secretary Jose Rene Almendras, Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario, Trade Secretary Gregory Domingo at iba pa. Naroon din po sa state ngayon ang ilan sa ating mga mambabatas na kita po natin si uh, Senator uh, Nancy Binay. Tila siya po yung uh, kaninang na-focus sa ating camera. Bukas po, inaasahang uh, babalik na sa Singapore si uh, President Tan matapos ang kanyang pagbisita sa Samar. At uh, matatandaan nga po natin na malaki ang pasasalamat ng bansang Pilipinas sa maraming bansa na tumulong sa atin sa panahon ng pananalasa ng Bagyong Yolanda. At yan nga po ang inihayag ng Pangulong Aquino kanina sa kanyang naging talumpati sa harap ng media. Siya po ay uh, tumatanaw ng malaking pasasalamat sa naging pagtulong ng Singaporean government at ng uh, mga Singaporeans na nag-donate ng kanilang uh, uh, serbisyo Uh, equipment at uh, pondo para po matulungan ang ating mga kababayan na lubos na naapektuhan ng uh, Super Typhoon Yolanda na nanalasa sa ating bansa noong November 8, 2013. Tunghayan po natin ang uh, state luncheon para po sa bumibisitang leader ng Singapore. Senate, Pres Senate President Franklin Drilon and Mrs. Milagros Drilon.
Secretary Albert Del Rosario and Mrs. Margaret Gretchen Del Rosario. Philippine Ambassador to Singapore, Minda Calagian Cruz and Ambassador Luis Cruz. His Excellency Giuseppe Pinto, Papal Nuncio and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps. Her Excellency, Datin Paduka Malay Halima Yusof, Ambassador of Brunei Darussalam. Her Excellency, Malavieng Sakoninhom, Ambassador of the Lao People's Democratic Republic. His Excellency, Prasas Prasas Vinicha, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand. His Excellency, Dato Mohammed Samri bin Mohammed Kasim, Ambassador of Malaysia and Madam Datin Masita Alang Ahmad. Her Excellency, Tuo Panya, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Cambodia. His Excellency, Yim Yint Ong, Ambassador of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, and Madame San San Thun. His Excellency, Chung Tri Dung, Ambassador of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Mr. Ade Petranto, Charge d'Affaires of the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia, and Madame Kaira Petranto. Mr. Sung Shang Yang, Charge d'Affaires of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China, and Madame Liu Hong. His Excellency Hirubalan, VP Ambassador of the Republic of Singapore, and Madam Hirubalan. <laughs> Minister, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Minister Grace Fu. Mr. Hawazi Daipi, Senior Parliamentary Secretary. Dr. Lam Pin Min, Member of Parliament. Mr. Vikram Nair, Member of Parliament. Mr. Lee Kok Fat, Principal Private Secretary to the President. Mr. Vanu Gopalamanan, Deputy Secretary. Ms. Fu Tiao Lee, Director General. Mr. Tan Soon Kim, Assistant Chief Executive, IE Singapore. Mrs. Victoria Elisa Aquino D. and Mr. Richard D. Cabinet Secretary Jose Rene Almendras and Mrs. Almendras, your cabinet in attendance. Thank you, Mr. President.
Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Dr. Tony Tan Keng Yam, President of the Republic of Singapore, Mrs. Mary Tan, His Excellency Benigno S. Aquino III, President of the Republic of the Philippines, and Mrs. Pinky Aquino Abeliada. Your Excellency, Dr. Tony Tan Keng Yam and Mrs. Mary Tan. Distinguished members of the Singaporean delegation, Vice President Judge Omar Binay, Senate President Franklin Rilon, and the members of the Senate present, Secretary Albert Del Sario, and other members of the Cabinet present. Your Excellency, Giuseppe Pinto, and the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, Ambassador Hirobalan VP, <laughs> Ambassador Binda Kalagian Cruz, fellow works in government, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good noon. It is my privilege to welcome Your Excellency, Dr. Tony Tan Keng Yam, your wife, and the members of your delegation during your state visit to the Philippines. Mr. President, I've gone on record expressing my admiration for the Republic of Singapore for achieving so much and so little. From your country's inception, you have successfully worked to maximize the resources available to you showing the world that great things are, can, be, can be and are made possible by a can-do attitude. For instance, I'm sure that many of us in this room are cognizant of how your country addressed your water shortage through the concept of new water. It is a prime example of how initiative and a little ingenuity can truly go a long way. Seeing your success, I believe more and more Filipinos have become more aware of the possibilities this approach can open up. And now I am pleased to say that like Singapore, we are beginning to fully utilize all of God's bounties and gifts to us. Today, I take the opportunity to thank you, Mr. President, and the Singaporean people for your solidarity, especially in the wake of Typhoon Yolanda. It was a time of great grief and sorrow for all Filipinos. And your assistance, along with that of the rest of the international community, eased the burden and helped us along the path to recovery. I assure you, the Filipino people will never forget the support you gave us, and we will always be ready to your kindness. I reiterate my gratitude for the hospitality you have extended to around 180,000 Filipinos who have found another home in Singapore, all of whom advance our two countries' desire for mutual progress. Their work helps Singapore maintain its competitive position as a center for international trade and commerce while their remittances serve as a significant boost to their family members here, as well as for the Philippine economy. Of course, while this visit reaffirms the deep friendship between our two countries, it also serves as an opportunity to explore areas of cooperation, areas that will allow, excuse me, that will allow us to realize in full the potential of our partnership on both the bilateral and ASEAN levels. I am heartened by the discussions we conducted earlier, and I trust that this is a step forward in improving the synergies between our countries. As a friend and neighbor to Singapore, the Philippines believes that development between our two countries should not only proceed in parallel, but should be hand in hand. After all, it is through solidarity and cooperation that we will see the achievement of vast gains for both peoples. On this note, allow me to propose a toast to the good health and well-being of His Excellency Tony Tan Keng Yam and his wife, Madam Mary Tan, to the stronger friendship between the peoples of the Philippines and Singapore, and to the further progress of the peoples of Singapore, the Philippines, and the rest of Southeast Asia. Cheers, Excellency. Boy. Boy. Your Excellency, Benito Aquino III, President 
of the Republic of the Philippines, Mrs. Aurora Corazon Aquino Abedela, the Honorable Ma Pinay, Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank Your Excellency for your warm words and very kind remarks about Singapore. My delegation and I are delighted to be here and we are touched by the warm welcome and the generous hospitality accorded to us. It has been more than 10 years since my last official visit to the Philippines and I am astounded by the remarkable progress and developments that have taken place. However, there are distinctive Filipino traits that remain unchanged. Since our arrival, we have experienced nothing but the warmth, the charm, and the friendliness of this beautiful country. Singapore and the Philippines share a long friendship which has grown over the years. This year marks the 45th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries. Our governments enjoy good cooperation and our multifaceted linkages range from economic collaboration to cultural exchanges. Your Excellency's state visit in 2011 has further strengthened these ties which intertwine our economies and peoples. The Filipino community in Singapore plays an irreplaceable role in our economy and society. I take this opportunity to express my appreciation for the contributions to Singapore's growth and development. Meanwhile, the long-standing Singapore community here is also expanding. Most Singaporeans are attracted by the Philippines' strong growth prospects and are seeking economic opportunities here. Our people-to-people -people ties are robust. Growing air connectivity has been an important catalyst not only for trade and business, but also tourism between our countries. I'm delighted to note that the recent expansion of our air transport agreement will increase the weekly air services capacity between Singapore and Manila by at least 25%. The Philippines' charming cities and beautiful beaches will then be just a quick plane ride away for Singaporeans. Singaporeans shared in the pain and anguish of our Filipino brethren when we learned of the devastation inflicted by Typhoon Yolanda or Haiyan last November. Singaporeans responded to help in various ways. Some contributed in kind, others opened their hearts to support the victims through donations. We are cheered by the resilience of the Filipino people and how you quickly came together to rebuild lives, homes, and communities. Tomorrow, I will have the honor of handing over contributions from the Singapore people to various partners and NGOs involved in projects to help the affected communities. Your Excellency, over the past few years, the Philippines has made tremendous progress under your capable leadership. The Philippine economy is consistently one of the strongest in Asia. Investment inflows are growing as a result of burgeoning business confidence. These resulted from your resolute commitment to enhance the level of social economic development in the Philippines. I'm confident that your administrations will further spur growth and bring greater prosperity to the Philippine people. We will also present more collaborative opportunities for Singapore businesses 
keen to be part of the Philippine success story. I also offer my congratulations to the Philippines on the historic signing of the comprehensive agreement on the Pangsamoro on 27 March in the grounds of Malacanian. Through Your Excellency's efforts and resolve, both sides have come together with a common goal of securing peace. These are critical steps towards a new future of peace, stability and growth for the people of the Pangsamoro region. At the regional level, Singapore and the Philippines share an interest in building a strong and united ASEAN community. While the landscape has evolved since the time when we were founding members of ASEAN, the strategic imperatives remain unchanged. In fact, these imperatives have grown more compelling in the face of new challenges confronting our region. This makes the task of achieving an ASEAN community in 2015 all the more urgent. And Singapore looks forward to working closely with the Philippines to advance our common regional interests. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite you to rise and join me in a toast to the good health and continued success of His Excellency President Pekingno Aquino III, to the continued peace and prosperity of the people of the Philippines and to the friendship between Singapore and the Philippines. Mahue. Yan po ang uh, naging opening statement ng uh, Pangulong Aquino at ni Pangulong Tan sa state luncheon para sa bumibisitang leader ng Singapore. Pinasalamatang muli ni uh, Pangulong Aquino, si President Tan at ang uh, buong bansa ng Singapore sa kanilang naging pakikiramay at pagtulong at patuloy na pagtulong pa rin sa ating mga kababayan na sinalanta ng Bagyong Yolanda sa Eastern Visayas. At uh, ayon sa kanya, tinatanaw na malaking pasasalamat ng uh, Pilipinas ang naging suporta nito at handang ibalik ang ipinakita ng uh, kabaitan ng uh, Singapore sa ating mga kababayan. Muli natin rin ng uh, Pangulong Aquino ang uh, bansang Singapore sa naging uh, maayos nitong uh, pagtanggap sa ating mga kababayang OFW doon. Umaasa si Pangulong Aquino na magpapatuloy pa ang mabuting ugnayan ng Singapore at ng uh, Pilipinas sa hinaharap. Samantala, mahigit sa 10 taon na umano mula ng huling uh, tumungo dito sa ating bansa si uh, President Tony Tan Keng Yam at uh, sabi niya malaki na daw ang uh, pinagbago ng uh, Pilipinas. Uh, malaki na ang inilago ng ating bansa ngunit hindi pa rin nagbabago ang mabuting asal at pakikitungo ng mga Pilipino. Kinilala ni uh, President Tan ang kontribusyon ng mga Pilipinong nagtatrabaho sa Singapore sa paglaki o paglago ng ekonomiya nito. Patuloy pa umanong tumatatag at lumalakas ang ugnayan ng dalawang bansa at umaasa si President Tan na lalakas pa ang turismo sa pagitan ng dalawang bansa sa pagdating o sa pagpapalawig ng air trade agreement pagtaas ng 25% ng flights patungo at pabalik ng Pilipinas inilahad din niya ang kanilang pakikiramay sa mga biktima ng bagyong Yolanda at humanga siya sa katatagang loob at pagbangon nating mga Pilipino. Pinuri rin ni Pangulong Tan ang paglago ng ating ekonomiya at sinabing ito ay isa sa pinakamalakas sa Asia. Umaasa siyang patuloy pang lalago ang ating ekonomiya at magiging bahagi ang Singapore sa paglago nito. Pinuri rin ni Pangulong Tan 
ang paglagda sa Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro Kamakailan at uh, ito umano, ang kapayapaang hatid umano nito ay uh, patuloy pang uh, makatutulong upang lumago ang ekonomiya ng ating bansa. At uh, kasalukuyan nga po nga uh, nagaganap ang state luncheon para kay Singaporean President Tony Tan Keng Yam. At uh, sa April 5 po ay inaasahan na pupunta siya sa Basay Samar para bisitahin at tingnan ang pro rehabilitation efforts doon at uh, para rin magbigay pa ng karagdagang medical supplies. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ang uh, RTVM, Telebisyon ng Bayan, uh, Radyo ng Bayan at IBC para po sa coverage na ito. Inyo pong natong hayan ang uh, state visit ni Singaporean President Tony Tan Keng Yam. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok sa aming live coverage mula dito sa Malacanang. Muli ako po si Cathy San Gabriel. Isang magandang araw, Pilipinas.